Welcome and welcome back to the Marketing Made Inclusive podcast. Hi. I'm going to do this up front because I always forget to do it at the end. Okay. This is our last podcast of 2023. And if you're in the giving season, not if, because I know you're in the giving season, <laughs> subscribe, share it with a friend, you know, check out our YouTube channel or subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Because that's how we know that we're reaching people and we're getting out there. But anywho, and for the marketers, you know the stats mean a lot because it helps us. Anyways, Mm -hmm. that was a personal, personal request, personal request. But this episode, it's going to be myself and Jade. Hey, Jade. Hey. How are you feeling about this festive season? I'm feeling good. I've been looking forward to it, actually. I think that little bit of cheer was definitely needed this year. Oof. This this year has been a year. 2023 has been a year. Uh, No need to cover all the things. If you aren't living in 2023 and you're listening to this, go look at the history books. There's a lot going on right now. (laughs) But the one thing that does cheer us up at this time of year is... Christmas ads Mm -hmm. and I think we did it last year as well where you talked about our favorite Christmas ads we did I think so I definitely remember doing a lot of research into Christmas ads it's one of the things I get really excited to research to see what the new ones out are like and how they compare to past ads and they're so iconic like I remember last year one of the ads that I really enjoyed was, I believe it was Marks and Spencer's. They always do good ads. But it was like a party and then they had people coming in and just... Yes. It was one of those ones where you just felt the cheer. And then mm-hmm. obviously the world we work in, you just start spotting inclusion everywhere. And you're like, oh, yes, representation. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> um, But this year, I challenged you to bring two ads I haven't seen, which I know can be tricky because I look at them Mm -hmm. a lot um so we're gonna look at two Christmas ads and if you want to see them and you're listening to the audio version head on over to our YouTube and you'll be able to see them um but we'll also pop the links so you can watch them on your own in the show notes um should we watch it and then give our thoughts on the first one I've got it open yeah okay I think so we won't intro it, but we'll we'll watch it and then we'll describe it and give our thoughts. This first one is a, I think they're both ads by Ritz. They're both see. by Ritz. They're both by Ritz, okay. Holidays are about spending time with family. Whether it's the one you're born into, or the one you make. Where there's love, there's family. Join us in helping create a more welcoming world at tasteofwelcome.com. Ritz, a taste of welcome. Oh, that is so, yes. <laughs> I was just watching your reaction the whole time. Okay, so for those who didn't see it, it essentially started off just like almost you could see Christmas moments that out of context you could just see you're following various people's story and oh and it was just kind of like how different people spend Christmas and you know there was a grandmother who wasn't with her family but had a lot of friends there was Mm -hmm. a black queer individual putting on lipstick and then you see that he's welcoming his partner um to a party and I think the 
I don't know if that was a, a to represent like a homeless shelter with the little girl. Yeah. And then she shares her Ritz and cheese with someone else who's on a oh oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my like ultimate favorite Christmas ads. Ooh. That yeah that, yeah yeah yeah. Oh okay, Jade thoughts thoughts. <laughs> Well, I I love it for so many reasons. I don't think it's like a cheesy Christmas set. I think it's genuinely heartfelt. I think it's something a lot of people can relate to. You know, you want to spend time with other people. Not everyone has family nearby. Um, and it's also just as a product placement. Like the, I didn't notice the first time I watched it, but that product placement in the beginning, the Ritz crackers in the beginning was so subtle. I think it like you wouldn't know it was Ritz right off the bat. But then also from our point of view, inclusion, it's got so much from skin tones, cultures, ages, socioeconomic backgrounds, LGBTQ+. It's just, it's got, it's got so much. It's got everything. It's got so much. And like, the story within it is just mm-hmm. so deep, but so subtle. Yeah. yeah. And oh, the other bit as well, they could have easily fallen into a stereotype and made it where the LGBT person was a person who was um without a home. Yeah. They could have fallen into some assumptions people make about communities, like mm-hmm. that the grandmother was going to be alone completely. And I think they did play on that actually, because at the mm-hmm. start, before you know what's happening, you're acting on your biases mentally yeah and that yeah. that that play on okay if someone is watching this they're going to assume the fact the grandmother is saying bye over the ipad that the mm-hmm. grandmother's going to spend christmas alone that's your first assumption yeah someone putting on a, a black queer man putting on lipstick at christmas mm-hmm. in a mirror you're assuming mm-hmm. he's taking a risk or he's gonna get you're assuming something yeah. that is dramatic um it, it plays on the the biases we have and then it's like ah ha ha, ha. <laughs> it's like a <Yeah>. switcheroo <laughs> it's a really good point especially with the older woman I love that and she had like a bunch of older friends and they all had their own little party and they were having like a really good time because I think older people are done so dirty so often in ads and I love that she got that like really lovely moment yeah they have yeah Especially when it comes to anything around loneliness. And this mm-hmm. is the this is the balance in ads as well. Because statistically, um, older people and quite a few people after especially after the pandemic do suffer from loneliness and Christmas can be a very difficult time, but not everyone. Yeah. And sometimes mm-hmm. even if that's the statistical state, doesn't mean you can't show people there is a way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's the whole point of the ad right there's like you you don't have to be with your literal blood family you can make new families and new traditions Mm -hmm. which I think is like a really clever marketing scheme as well because they're all those traditions writs and that is another interesting thing because then you're tying that any tradition you're making because writs is not a traditional Christmas snack from us anyways here in in Britain Mm -hmm. um but you're making that connection. You're tying that emotion of sharing Ritz and having it at Christmas to making your own traditions and breaking the norms. Yeah. Because something for me that would have been, in terms of my family, would have been a little bit more suitable, would have been Ferro Rocher. You know, that is very yes. Christmas tradition. <laughs> like, but the idea of like no you can share it with and it's made to be shareable I like mm-hmm. that. I really and like party it. food or doros mm-hmm. which they had in the which is what they used it for that was the other thing they did show it in different use cases contexts yeah 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 so you're not just seeing it it's not like and you can't really do that with Ferrero Rocher if it was Ferrero Rocher in the ad it would mm. just be the aspect of giving it versus mm-hmm. You know, having it with avocado, having it with cheese. I can't remember what the other one was. Yeah. I that was that was a good one. And all of that in a minute. Listen, I I know. 
a lot of things can be said about the marketing sector and the cons and advertising but honestly times like these when I see things done so well Mm -hmm. it really just reignites my my passion and my joy for it yeah yeah I'm excited for you to see the next one okay (laughs) I was already holding back tears I was already holding back tears um again if you haven't seen these ads we're talking about because that one was 2020 wasn't it so Mm -hmm. make sure you go and check this out the other one is also Mm -hmm. Ritz and this one is called a taste of welcome Jay, your anticipation of me almost crying is is too much. Okay. Ooh, this one's shorter. For every holiday, for everyone. Ritz, no, no, a taste- no, 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 we need to watch that again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need to watch it again. There was so, I, I. Yeah, it's packed. It's packed. It is packed. This, like. I like it, but at the same time, I feel like this is when people like, oh, inclusive marketing, you have to include everyone. This really did try. (laughs) Okay, I'm watching it again because I need to need to catch up. All right, here we go. For every holiday, for everyone. Ritz, a taste of welcome. Yeah, yes. That is not a a, a definitive review, but there were just so many things that was flashed in there. Mm-hmm. that something could relate to you for 30 seconds as well that's a lot yeah yeah <clears throat> it's a lot and it's it's subtle as well like it's not it doesn't feel like it's punching the face with it necessarily like the the layers of inclusion there um it just it's like snapshots but because it's snapshots consistently it, it like works I feel like it just like flows from one into the next into the next and you would have to know the cultural references because I, I only know a few. Mm-hmm. And they had the, the traditional Christmas, but they had Kwanzaa. I didn't know which was represented it, but then they had, I believe it's called a, a drudel where you spin. Yeah. Um, And then some form of representation of Chinese New Year. I'm not sure if the lanterns is particularly connected to that, but all those particular bits and saying, hey, what whatever you're celebrating, when you're celebrating, bring some Ritz. Yeah. And like we were saying the last time, the different use cases, like it's can be used in so many different ways. And it's again, it's subtle. Like you wouldn't off the top of your head necessarily automatically connect to Ritz. But then when you look back, you're like, Ritz was everywhere. It was everywhere. And it wasn't as some aspects of it wasn't as direct as the first one. I think this is so is that more recent? I believe so, yes. Okay, I feel like that those two ads are the, a clear progression yeah. of inclusive marketing where the first one was, yes, this person's LGBT. Yes, this person mm-hmm. is old. Yes, this person is this. And it's like, bam, bam, bam. Um, beautiful, yeah. amazing, emotional story, but still kind of very clear boxes. I come away from that ad and I'm thinking, the girl that was introducing the other girl to the older woman, was that a couple or was that friends or was that like yeah. it is down for interpretation but it still felt 
represented. Either you're representing um, a lesbian couple or you're representing best friends at Christmas. Yeah, I completely agree. Oh, my days. The one that threw me, though, was I think the last shot of the woman of East Asian descent. And it felt like they were trying to represent Chinese New Year. But I, to me, it could have been stronger, but it was so much. It's one of those ones where, and I think, I can't remember what year it was, but a while ago we had, I think it was Marks and Spencer's, who would do like a Christmas story series. Okay. Where they would start and then the next year would be another bit to the story. Okay. I think that would be a good base of Mm -hmm. a Ritz festive, because it's not Christmas, it's festive series. Yes. Where they spin off and they do writs in each of those occasions that they show Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah, I love that yeah I mean just the sheer fact that it's not just Christmas because I'm I'm assuming writs is a western company and it's obviously Chris is so Christmas centric like we just like other religious festivals other kind of holidays aren't acknowledged even though they are still very much present within western society Mm -hmm. so I love that they actually like we're bold enough to like include all of them like I think I this year I started seeing more and more like Tesco's I think did um an Eid Mubarak uh the samosas ad Mm -hmm. I just I remember so vividly it's like Alia's worth the weight samosas and they have like recipes on their website so like slowly cultures like uh ads have started including more cultures but I think this was like last year or like the year before so wits were like ahead of the game Mm -hmm. It's interesting. It would be amazing to see uh, the data on one where they showed it and the reception to it. And mm. we have to see if we can find the one for this year because if that's the continuous say, progression, yeah. especially in a time where doing this is going against the norm, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. And it is putting your brand and making a stance, especially for a company. I believe that a majority American market um, is big. Mm-hmm. The thing I do hear, though, and it's, it's ringing in the back of my brain because it's a challenge that I've heard in the past around what if their demographic market is not the individuals that are included in the campaign? Mm-hmm. Oh, what I'm liking about both of these is that they're not necessarily saying Ritz is part of the tradition, but they're saying yeah. they want to be. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Because I think that might be to assume, you know, Ritz is on the table during Chinese New Year or during Kwanzaa or anything. It's a big assumption. Like, it's a good yeah. brand, but I don't know how much you can season it, you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how much you could sprinkle it on top of macaroni pie. Um, that's a <laughs> daddy and dish for anyone who doesn't know. Um, but yeah, it 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 is them under it feels it feels like, and it would be amazing to know what research they did before they took this approach, that they were like, what where are we in terms of these cultures? Mm-hmm. And what are we going to say in order to be like, hey we recognize the culture, the festives, the whatever the environment is. And as a company, we want to be part of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. It's a good, I like it though. I like that take of being like, maybe we could be though. Let us in. Let us in. Like, hey, hey, you know, just take take a box of Ritz to you. Like, yeah. I really, I, I prefer it. I prefer because there's a different vibes. Because, like I mentioned before, Marks and Spencers is the ads that stick in my head when it comes to Christmas campaigns, and mm. their ads have a little more of a tone of "We know you want us at your Christmas table. We're already going to be there, but here's the options of things." It's a little bit more, yeah. I okay. dare to say arrogant. Yeah, makes and sense. they're somewhat they're they're like they're allowed to be. They're already seen as a brand that people want to have. Yeah, yeah, especially at Christmas time. So they can be like, you know what, you could have this 
Christmas pudding from us or this one, but here's the fancy expensive one you really want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's literally yeah. what their, their campaigns are like. Oh gosh, oh, that brought such a smile to my face. Thank you so much, Jade. <laughs> They're my favorite for a reason. Uh, but this is our last episode of 2023 not our last one of the season we've got more to come but you'll be hearing them in the new year and um, and we're just so excited we're excited for because I've recorded quite a few of them already hint hint um we're excited for what's coming but we're excited to hear from you like send us in our dms on linkedin any kind of festive things you're seeing particularly if you're not in the UK I want to know what's going on mm. I know we have a, a large listenership in France I want to know what's the vibe there I might need Google Translate to understand it but I can still shed a tear um in French I don't know if you cry in other languages but <laughs> that may not be a thing share the ads you have for your festive season with us and this has been an amazing year. Thank you so much for listening to the Marketing Made Inclusive podcast. Uh, you can find us on all your podcast listening devices. And you can also find us on YouTube to watch the ads that we just reacted to. Mm-hmm. If you're not on YouTube, the links for the ads will be in the show notes. And you can find Jade. On LinkedIn at Jade Pet. And myself, I'm all over the internet at Joanne Boyce. It's J O Y A N N B O I C E. Thank you so much for listening to Marketing Made Inclusive. See you in 2024.